Yeah, so this is the stoat enclosure. But at the moment, we've got the two stoats in here just behind me in the wall. So they're hiding away from us. So underground here, all stretching that way, I've got a massive network of tunnels designed for a badger set. So we've got lots of different chambers out here, an area that are called Badger Cave. And what we're planning to do is to lift this hatch down here and I'm just going to let our stoats go into the badger cave this evening. So that's today's plan. We're going to try and keep them in there for a few days so they just get used to an extra bigger area and then we're going to open it all up and let them go and that's going to be a really exciting time but we're just going to try and do this at a stage at a time. So I'm going to lift this grill like that, simple as that, and then we're going to let them uh, head out. So uh, watch this evening because these stoats are going to go exploring. So that night I watched the cameras closely to see how they got on. Whisper and Stuart were inquisitive, but cautious about the changes to their enclosure. Eventually, Stuart jumps over the gate to explore. After sniffing around a little, she finally enters the Badger cave system. I watched over the next few days when the stoats explored every nook and cranny, becoming more comfortable in their new, larger home. Seeing the stoats so at ease in this new enclosure, I knew they were getting ready for their next stage of rehabilitation. So today's a really exciting day. I'm going to open up the grills here and let these stoats out. So Whisper and Stuart have been with us since they were tiny little kits. And today the stoats are going to be free to go into the wild. Just after dark, I noticed a nose peeking out of the set. Stuart was first to appear, sniffing around at the entrance. Eventually, she takes her first cautious steps into the wild. Both stoats are becoming more confident, but we're still using the shelter of the set and dash back in for safety. Whisper and Stuart stayed in and around the enclosure for about a week before setting off for their new life in the wild. It's been an amazing experience being part of these young stoats' lives, and I look forward to catching up with them in the future.